We are up bright and early on this Thursday morning. Yep. We're getting one last hike in if we can help it before school starts. But we are meeting our friend Jordan from Livestream. Yeah, we're meeting him at Halls on the River and we're going to hike a trail that's back behind there. Yep. Right now we're making a quick stop to Meyer, getting some breakfast for us and Jordan. And then heading to Winchester. I think Scott's just a little bit addicted to donuts. He's going in to get donuts. Scott made a stop here at Shell. Pick up his and Jordan's favorite drink of all time. L8. Apparently this uh, trail that we're going to walk runs into the creek where Jordan and Scott used to play when they were kids. I mean, it's going to be nice and reminiscent for them to be able to see that creek and where it goes. And, and it'll be interesting for me because playing in that creek and all was such a big part of Scott's life when he was young. And I think it's really important if you're going to be with somebody to try to understand them and, you know, be a part of their life and what they enjoy. Even, I don't know, if it's not what you enjoy yourself you know maybe you can take a little bit of time out to enjoy what they enjoy and then they need to do the same thing for you but I mean for couples that's a big thing that they need to do to understand each other and to grow as a couple wait a second you're pretty sure <laughs> worst case scenario I drive back a couple of feet you all didn't concrete the meeting plans I only talked about meeting at all Here we are, Halls on the River, almost. I thought that was it for a second, but no, that's Waterfront Restaurant and Lounge. Never been there. No, it doesn't really look like a one I know. <laughs> Sorry if you're good people. Oh, that's a cute little cabin. Yep. Old, run down. No trespassers. Keep out, but cute. Ooh, that looks creepy. Abandoned trailer park over there. Oh, bend and boat. Nice and creepy, too. We're here. Yes, my assumption was wrong. Jordan was over at Fort Boonesboro waiting on us. But we're going on this trail first, so I assumed we were meeting in yeah. this parking lot. It's called communication, boys. Sometimes men like it. Oh, they do. <laughs> As you can see, Jordan's here. Hello. So one of the trails led down here to the creek. It's nice and moving right now. I love it when you can hear the water. I really wish we could make it to the waterfall, but I'm not sure if that's on the preserve or not. Not one crawdad. Little tiny crawdad. He's, He's not happy. He wants to pinch you. Oh yeah, they're bad. And I'm enjoying the running water. That's just gorgeous. <laughs> okay guys, so the problem with coming down is you always have to go back up. They are quick. Cute little guy. That's pretty nifty. He's kind of a shiny green one. Most entertaining thing I found underneath those rocks were two millipedes having sex. Yeah. Oh, we're coming up on something. Got a bushwhack a little bit. <laughs> so we are at site number two, which is the old Ford. It says it's the crossing of Salt Spring Trace. Uh, they have themselves a snake. I mean, that's a huge ring neck snake. Usually, yeah. they don't get that that big. Holy crap! Really? Yeah, because ring necks are normally just a small bodied snake. Like, are this they is, venomous at all? No, no, no. This is a full grown adult. He's got some years on him. Uh, I need to take you to PC Park. Yeah. Just for the sheer fact that the one that I caught with Critley was twice the length. Smell it? No. Taste it? No. Gosh, it, really? No, I just got weird. 
That's dead. You're welcome. <laughs> a little yellow yeah, I'm not tower. holding him at all. I'm just holding yeah. him. Yeah, he's just this dead. is the first time Critley has ever held a snake. His little ring neck. He's actually kind of cute. He's just a little stinky. Yeah. yeah. They do that as a defense mechanism. Yep. That and sometimes they take the tip of their tail and they try to sting you with it. Yeah. Sting you? It's, it's like a, a whip. Little, it's got a little barb on there. Yeah, I see it. But uh, it doesn't really hurt. It's yeah. just what they do. Pretty like, cool. If you're, if you're a predator, you're trying to attack it and you feel something kind of poking at you. Yeah. You're like, oh I'm my shocked God. he's this calm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. He got him. Ow. Oh, he got you. Because he's getting ready to shed. If you notice his yeah. eyes, how they're that old pet color. Yep. He can't see for anything, really. Well, we'll let this little guy go, and uh, obviously they are out, so we're going to... Take a look around. Get another uh, good herping vlog in. Yeah. Uh, That's a... Uh, he's not happy at all. Oh. This guy got a little green frog. That is awesome. Look I how love bright the guys. green is around his mouth. I know. Good thing they can live out of water for so long. I know. <laughs> that is sweet. So do you guys want to tell me a little bit about your creek? How you guys are connected to this one? Well, we didn't know it became this. But over at my grandparents' house and where Jordan grew up, yep. he was our next door neighbor. There's a creek that runs right in between both houses. And we grew up on that creek. We've looked and herped and done everything in that creek. Turtles. Got another northern, guys. He another northern water showing. snake. Oh, he can see. He's just... He put, put some musk out on Jordan's knuckle. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. I got that, too. Uh, yeah, he did. Hey, bud. Nope, you're chill. Yep. You are chill. That is awesome. We're trying to get over there. Eventually, to get on the main part of the path, we have to cross the ford and get over onto that side. I don't know. I don't know it. Here's this big wall we were talking about. Look over there. Okay, in this little area, and that's not how deep it is out there, but it's, it's over a foot. It's over a foot deep, which is pretty good for this little area. We've passed a few other hikers, and they're just looking at us like we're absolutely crazy. Here we are, vlogging and off trail, but it's kind of fun weirding people out, isn't it? No, he's not real happy. He's saying hi. Wave at the camera. Come on, Jordan, why don't you climb it? I can't, I have bad ankles. You just need upper body strength. Strong toes, the ankles don't matter. <laughs> Either somebody was forgetful or something didn't end well. Scott found a little salamander this time. Yep. He's not especially happy, but he's cute. As you can see, the creek would keep going this way, but the, the main path is back behind me. Not exactly sure how far this goes. It's mainly dried up right now, except for a few pools of water. So the boys are over there. They are so freaking happy. They have found so much stuff today. <laughs> hear them over there? Oh, goodness. Morgan, sometime you're going to have to come out here and see just how excited they get. You don't have to touch anything or, or anything at all. Just stand back and watch them and they're just hilarious. They're good to laugh at. Getting ready to ford the ford. Head across wherever the boys are. Over there. Head across the water. In my new shoes. But you know our hiking boots are new. <sighs> Would you guys look at that? Look how tall. So pretty. The trail is going to wind on down that side of the creek. But first, we're going to look over here on that creek bed. So, while the boys are down there flipping rocks, I made my way up here. As you can see, there's this tiny little waterfall. I don't think this is the waterfall that anybody's been talking about being around here, but it's still pretty cool and it sounds really pretty. It's just nice and sweet. And I think I'm gonna try to climb over there and get a little bit closer look. 
seven inches long that went underneath the rock. There's several. They're six, seven inches. They're huge. The boys, they got off trail again. They're following the creek. I backtracked just a little bit. Don't freak out, Mom. They're right over there. Like, I could cut through straight there and be to them. They're within hollering distance. But I wanted to see where the actual trailhead was. Where we can get back on trail easily. Because there's stuff along this trail that I actually want to see. If I can ever pull the boys away from the creek. That won't be easy. It's never easy. Get those boys run rocks and mud. They're five again. Can you see them over there? Jordan found another, another water. Northern water snake. Yep. Pretty cool. The this coloration on his belly is just amazing. Yeah. He will be still. Which he won't. There you go. Yeah. That's that awesome. really good. Another green frog. That's a bigger one. I think that's bigger than the one I caught earlier. Man, that's a brighter green on it too. Scott's gonna attempt to climb up this. And then I'm gonna attempt to climb up it. People have been up there. This is just too freaking cool. Wing it. Just don't fall. Actually, you can fall. I'm recording. It's okay. Yeah. Well, it looks like we're going to have to continue following the main trail now. This creek just goes right down into a really deep pool now. And there's no embankment to really follow now. So, we're just going to have to continue on on the main trail. We're back on the main trail now. We're taking a look at one of the rock walls right here next to the trail. So, we are in the residential area. So, apparently there used to be a bunch of old houses around here. Nothing really left now, but yeah, it's number three. Does it look like a wash tub? Oh, it looks like maybe. Found a metal barrel. Up here, we think there's an old wash tub. Found some tomato cages and tomato oh. plants way out here. You wonder when this was used. Looks like a little stone seat. Oh. As Scott saw, there was a wooden fence here. I'm just kind of shocked that all this is still intact. Here's actually a gate. Yeah. We found the downy graveyard. It looks like a very tiny little graveyard. Okay. This is kind of creepy. They still have them mounded. Coming up on another little section. We found nine. Nine was the Benjamin Hieronius house. I think I pronounced that wrong. Early 19th century cabin site. Only the chimney remains was the site of a triple murder in 1939. That's nice and creepy. This was an office door. This was an office door. Triple A. So he says, there's an old newspaper. I cannot believe we're going inside. I thought we are going inside. No, that's part of the material. I mean, it's weird, but it's really weird too. Yeah. You know, it's got some bits of the bathroom. Yeah. I mean, these are sliding doors. They're dividers. It's like somebody handmade this. Yeah. This is ancient. Oh, that's... that's really freaky. Triple murder right here somewhere. The chimney's been walled up. An old basketball goal. We found ten. This was that family's grave site, or at least the cemetery for that family. The graves are kind of broke down, and a lot of them are unmarked now. Yeah, that one was 1753 to 1798. Yeah, that's an oldie. Granted, that looks like that's a new marker. Somebody's left broken. Same here. This one's too old. Yeah. Hard. This Colonel John was the... Here's an old barn out behind the cemetery. Yeah. I don't know if this barn's still in use or if it's abandoned. Well, it looks abandoned. Three.
everything stuff. Tar, buckets, old wood. Yeah, I just have a feeling someday we're going to find the dead body. Oh. Son, Eagle Rock Farm. Found this frame hanging out there. It's really pretty. It was metal. Scott's checking out the creepier old shed, which needs to be careful. Curiosity, it killed the cats, and here I go. Scott just saw this. I don't know what kind of tree that would be. That would have thorns like that. It's like... That's Maleficent Man. Castle Bear, yeah. Eagle Rock Farm. That's belonging to the barn we found.